Uh, thank you everyone for joining me here today. Uh, I'm here to formally announce, as you've received in uh, your packages, that we are requesting the assistance of the public in our ongoing investigation into the homicide of Corey Bolesky. Uh, that incident, uh, or sorry, that investigation commenced on the 1st of November of this year. Uh, and at this time, we're releasing surveillance footage of three persons of interest whom we hope the public can uh, assist with uh, tracking the movements of those uh, those individuals and perhaps provide information regarding any interaction they may have had with those three uh, in the time period of 9 p.m. on the 31st of October to 2 a.m. on the 1st of November. I say this recognizing that of course that encompasses Halloween night when there's a tremendous amount of foot traffic. We are hopeful however that uh, three adult males traveling together may in fact uh, jog the memories of someone who is in the area who may have seen these individuals. Of course, part of that request also extends to the request that we always make for anyone with uh, surveillance video in the area. Now we have canvassed extensively in the area, but there is always a chance that we have missed someone who may have a uh, home surveillance video that they can share, or possibly more likely someone who may have been driving in the area who has dash cam footage that may be of assistance. That's uh, the purpose for our Certainly, yeah, I can, I can give a, a more general area, I apologize for that. Uh, the area that we're looking for, the area from which uh, these images uh, derive, is the area of uh, River Street and High. So in that rough area. Uh, you've had to widen your search area. What kind of, what element of difficulty does that now throw into the investigation, I guess? Because you now you're not looking at a small area, you're looking at like now several blocks. Well, we do always, of course, have to expand our areas of search. We have to follow the investigation where it takes us. And quite frankly, at times that expands our, our geographic area for, uh, for canvas, uh, for video requests, and for appeals to witnesses. And while I wouldn't suggest that it makes the investigation more difficult per se, it does increase the volume of information that we are taking in that must be reviewed and analyzed. So at this time, these are individuals that we are uh, interested in monitoring the movements of and determining the, uh, the actions of on that particular evening. However, at this time, we're simply asking for anyone who may have observed these three uh, to contact police and speak with investigators. Is there anything else you can tell us uh, in terms of the status of the investigation right now? Well, this is an active investigation. It is ongoing. It has been since the time both our forensic identification unit, our major crimes unit, and our break enter and our robbery unit have all been participating actively in the investigation and have advanced to the point that we're able to make this uh, plea for public assistance at this time. We, of course, have drawn on uh, other investigative units within the service as well. As we do with any major investigation, it is uh, uh, very much a team effort, and we do uh, rely on the expertise within this building.